So I'm now taking my three meter roll of paper into the forest and it's got the wooden planks on either end so it'll have that extra support. Um, and I'm gonna tie it between the two trees that I measured when I was measuring how big the paper needed to be. So I got my dad to help me by putting it up because it was quite a big um, sheet of paper and I couldn't do um, tie the, both around the trees at the same time as one person. Um, and I was quite challenged with like time for this one because um, the weather had been really bad all week and it was about to rain on the forecast in the hour. So I only had a little while to put it up and take it down and take the photos. But um, I quite enjoy how this sort of like accentuates my idea that um, my love for the forest is completely one sided. Um, and how like almost like uh, nature's way of like being saying like no to like me putting up this giant bit of paper. So this is the final way it's been hung up. Um, and it's a little to the side, but that's because I didn't have the same uh, length like cord to tie it equally in the middle. But I quite like that because it sort of feels like, um, I don't know, I think if it was too centered, it would look too like uh, perfect. And I don't want it to look perfect. I don't want it to look like surreal, like a bit strange. So I quite enjoy how it's to the, to the left. Um, and I've just taken my uh, panorama photos so I've taken some of all around here and then some of above and like these trees here. Um, and yeah, so I've just taken the photos and now I'm about to take it down. So this piece of paper is much, much larger than the A1 sheet that I did as my experiment initially, but it still doesn't fill that entire space. So I'm hoping that once I, once I print these photos of the white in the forest at A1, um, the white piece of paper will still take up enough space in the photo for um, the video to be projected on, onto and still be like large enough to um, be like relevant in the piece and not feel like sort of like uh, uh, washed out by the rest of the forest. But I also quite like the idea of it, if I'm collaging back into it, having the video at a similar size as um, the photos that I'm collaging back into it with. So it sort of sits as like a, a literal moving image rather than um, something else so it sort of feels like connected to all of the other collaged elements but I'm not sure about that yet I'll um I'll see how the size matters once I print it a1 and then decide then